concerns now about the new variants of the coronavirus. Moderna says its current vaccine does indeed protect against the two variants that have emerged so far from Britain and South Africa. And the company now is testing how adding a second booster, which would make it a total of three shots, might help the fight against the virus. Here now is uh, Dr. Alex Jahangir, who's from the Nashville Coronavirus Task Force. Uh, chairman there, thank you, sir, for coming back on with us. Your thoughts on these variants and whether, you know, a, uh, another booster shot might be either necessary and, and or practical here moving forward. Well, you know, I think the variants um, obviously cause some some concern, um, but not surprising if you know much about um, viruses. And so um, my hope is that um, as, as Pfizer and Moderna both said their vaccines are um, protective, um, if enough people get um, vaccinated, we do the precautions that we have for the past many months, it won't be as, um, hopefully won't be as impactful. But it is a, a, a more virulent or more easily spread um, variants, especially the South African version, which is, is slightly concerning. Um, and if another shot is, is what's needed, I mean, I'm, I, that's great, but I, I'm still stuck on the fact that we still have to vaccinate more Americans. Only 5.6% of our um, colleagues here in America have been vaccinated. So let's get the first two shots in before we start talking about a third one, is my opinion. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It's just why I asked you about uh, the possibility of a third shot. And yeah, it's tough enough even to get an appointment for many people to get number one and two. The president, however, just said a moment ago um, that everybody wants a shot, should get one by the spring. And we will be, in his words, well on our way to herd immunity by the summer. What, what do you make of that? Does that sound right to you or a little off? What do you think? Well, you know, I, uh, I, you know, I, I, I hope so, right? I, I tell people, I think, honestly, by the end of, um, end of the summer is where I was thinking. Now, but here's the thing. Um, hopefully, at the end of this week or next week, we will have, um, we will have Johnson & Johnson's data in, and Johnson mm -hmm. & Johnson will get EUA. And Johnson & Johnson is a one-shot um, vaccine, easier to store. And they've already signed a, a contract with the government to bring out 12 million doses by the end of February and maybe 100 million by the end of June. And even if that's delayed a month or two, which I've, I've heard it may be, that's still pretty um, impactful. So um, hopefully the president right. is right um, and, and we, can, we can get shots in arms. But, you know, realistically for me, um, well, we're looking at a local national area and state of Tennessee. Um, I, I've, I've estimated end of summer before we're able to have that much freedom. So what's holding you up the most there, where you're operating at the local level in, in Nashville? What's the biggest issue? It's, it's frankly vaccine supply. You know, this, um, we, we, put, we put about 7,000 shots in arms a week in, in Nashville, and we do it with minimal wait time, um, minimal um, delays. You know, we have a, a long waiting list between what we as a city and as, as the hospital systems do. But I'm really proud of what we did just this weekend. Um, I 3,000 people over 75 in Nashville um, got shots in arms. So, but I, right now when I'm averaging in operations, I can probably put 5,000 shots in arms a week. I know we can easily scale up to 20,000 and still have the same efficiency. So if you give me more shots, we'll put them in arms. And um, so it's just really supply for us. All right, well, hopefully they're on their way. Um, keep following up with us. We'll help try to stay in touch with all these uh, local task force around the country. Dr. Alex Jahangir, thank you out of Nashville today.